Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in the previous Deadman Mode video, we did Slayer for 24 hours, farming all sorts of different monsters. And at the end of that video, we ended up price checking everything to see exactly how much money we made. And then we swapped it over to 07 to, well, get twice that much money. Now, this episode is going to be slightly different. We're going to be focusing on uh, gargoyles. Now, in the previous episode, most profit came from abyssal whips, from abyssal demons, and uh, gargoyles. Well, today we're just going to focus strictly on gargles, do them for probably about five hours, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less and see how much money we end up making. We're starting this episode on 1728 gargles, but before we move on with the video, this episode is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Now, if you're a fan of mobile gaming, this is available now and totally free on Android and iOS devices. It is fully featured RPG with a fleshed out storyline, voice acting and great looking 3D graphics. I mean, just look at the details on these champions, it honestly looks really really good. My favorite champion is Gallic. He was actually the first champion I unlocked when I downloaded the game and I've been enjoying his Hellraiser ability simply because it deals a lot of damage to a lot of people. Raid has got everything you're looking for in a turn based RPG like this. Collectible and upgradable characters, loot, PvP battles and some cool moving cinematic camera angles that I'm honestly really really enjoying. There's a lot to keep you busy here, Raid is getting big really really fast and they have massive plans for the next 6 months, so just check out this roadmap they've recently published. They've got a new faction, a tank team arena feature and even a new clan boss you'll be able to fight with your clan mates. Now, if you guys want to join a clan, I actually have a clan in the game, uh, it's called Mika DMM and also you can find me under the nickname Mika DMM, so feel free to join the clan. I think the game is amazing, but you don't have to take my word for it, with over 200,000 reviews, Raid has almost perfect score on the app store so if you want to get in on that check out the link in the description only through this link you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion now once again a really big shout out to raid shadow legends for sponsoring this video With this gargoyle kill, we're gonna kill exactly 50 gargoyles and it took me exactly 30 minutes to kill them so that's gonna make the calculations extremely extremely simple so basically in an hour we should expect to kill about 100 gargoyles and we're gonna be coming to this number later on in the video uh, but the loot from 50, nothing special as of right now we're gonna be counting all the gmols, counting all the mysterious emblems should be a lot of fun Okay, I have completed my very first trip, we got one mysterious emblem and we got about 535k alongside with some extra sapphires and the runite sword. Now here's how I'm gonna do things, I have another account, this is my Mika DMM, my main account, I'm gonna have 1000 nature runes on this account and we are also going to be storing all of the loot in this inventory and at the very end of the video we're gonna be selling everything to see exactly how much money we made, so that's gonna be pretty exciting and uh, yeah, I'm gonna trade basically every single trip over to that account to just be able to keep track of all the loot. Trip number two is now also done, uh, got about 500k I'd say and then another full helm so 520-ish k from that one, took me about 50 minutes and we killed 80 in that trip. Next trip took me about 30 minutes because of a PK air, so I decided to teleport out, nothing special, just kill the gargoyle, spent click teleport and got out, so got to 250k in about 49 kills, so not the best trip, not the worst trip, not too shabby at all. I guess I haven't really explained yet what the reason for this video is and the main reason is as you can see my magic level is 91 and I want to get that to 99. Now the best way to do that is obviously bursting slash barraging and I will be doing that when I get my slayer tasks but I need to have enough money in order to afford it so therefore this video is just perfect to be able to afford the runes to then be able to get my 99 magic through slayer so that's basically the reason for the video and I thought it would be a pretty cool idea to see you know how much money I can actually make in this game mode um, you know camping gargoyles we're also gonna be taking a look at how much money we would make if we were to swap everything later on so it should be pretty exciting holy fuck there's some pk airs here yeah, I'm getting pk hold on I guess I'm not getting pk lul see idiots <laughs> In this trip, we got 446k, uh, I had to cut it short because of the pk airs. oh, and also this 25k, so not too bad, we're gonna be going back in a couple of minutes, hopefully the pk airs are gone by then, and uh, yeah, they were both maxed, I got lucky hit off on Gargoyle, so it wasn't too hard to just teleport out, um, but yeah, we're gonna be going there again in a couple of minutes. There we go, 92 defense, the first level of the video coming through very, very nice, 
getting attacked to 94 very very soon as well here we go gmol number two <laughs> why did i why can i not say two like okay gmol number two coming in very very nice wait apparently also got 94 attack at some point not so long ago so there's that and uh, i guess we're pretty close to 97 strength and also already 118 combat Dude, we are progressing this account pretty damn nicely and I cannot complain. Another trip done, 111 kills in this one and we got about 700k basically from these and then a little bit of extra, I'd say solid 750k easy uh, from this task alone. So very, very nice trip. I believe that is Gmail number three. Um, pretty cool. Okay, that was fucking cringe. Why can I not record it? Whatever. Gmail number three. Dude, I'm not putting that in. Oh, I'm getting PK. Hold up. It's really unfortunate timing. Why is this guy again? He PKs me all the time. Oh my god, I almost died. Okay. Right. Okay, so that just happened. Um, That trip was really, really good. 800k with 30k here another 5k here pretty decent and i think here is where i'm gonna end the gargoyle killing content i think i have enough money i made enough money to probably pay for at least 94 magic if not 99 magic we're gonna go ahead and sell everything now but first we're gonna price check everything so let's do that in a second and uh yeah see how much money we made all right so checking the log i do think that is enough gargoyles killed for now i do want to return to slayer and get my magic levels up as well and i think this was a nice little intermediate to get a little bit of cash so i can afford all the runes and start bursting and then barraging my tasks that's what this video was for and as you can see currently we have 2487 gargoyles and uh, that means we killed 760 gargoyles in this video um, which means that it took us probably a little bit over seven hours I'd say seven and a half hours to do this video and we're gonna hop on this account right now and Price check all the loot in just a second as you can see the loot is pretty nice We got three gmols three mystic tops uh, 500k just in cash or 440k pretty much a lot of rune items a little bit of gems and obviously the bars These steel bars I believe are gonna be the main profit I'm gonna try and sell everything for as high as possible So I'm gonna leave the offers in the GE for a little bit of time and then we're gonna see how much money I fully make out of it um, But very very happy with everything if I price check in so let's say in about seven hours and a half We made about 3.4 million so you need to realize that I play this pretty AFK on the side while I play my main while I play my Iron Man as you guys know I'm trying to max both accounts and at the very end of the video I'll show you a little bit of progress of my Iron Man and my main just for the people that are curious on how the progress there is going because I'm doing like the slow stuff right now but either way the profit was fairly decent the swap rate is about one to two as far as I know at least the last time I swapped it was one to two so let's say we made about seven million in seven and a half um uh, in seven and a half hours which is honestly not so bad that is if we were to transfer everything to 07 however we're not going to be doing that we're going to be using money to you know buy runes but first i do believe that is worth a little bit more than the price check said so let's go ahead and sell all the items all right so while i'm waiting for all the items to sell on the ge it's gonna obviously take me a little bit of time i might actually go ahead and just alk all the things that have alk value and then sell the rest so i think i might cancel this sell and uh, I will just alk these and these. And then I'm gonna wait probably like one day. We're gonna come back and see, you know, how much we actually make if this all sells. And in the meantime, I promise you guys an update on my Iron Man. I'll show you some clips of the levels, but basically everything that I'm doing on this account recently is just farming and agility. And I'll quickly show you how much I've farmed recently. So if we jump to this tab, we can see all the herbs and then all the unfinished potions that I have. Obviously, the reason for that is I want to get 99 farming and then after that, I'll basically have 99 herb lore banked. I'm pretty much running, like, I'm doing my herb runs very, very consistently. And as you can see, I have a bunch of stuff that I can get herb lore levels with. So that's kind of cool. I'll show you a couple of levels here in just a second. I have been waiting for this level for a while, it's been a long time coming, mainly because this account is just doing agility and farming at the moment, nothing really else, but there it is, a 91 farming coming through, that's one of the levels that I do want to get to 99 pretty much as fast as possible, 
Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep farming, keep doing agility. We're already at 94. I don't know if I recorded many levels because agility is very stale and it takes a long time. But nonetheless, 94 agility currently, almost 95, and 600k XP for a farming level. So yeah, it's gonna be a while. And I'm just farming irits, um, mainly irits right now. I have 300 seeds. I'm good to go for a long time. So uh, I'm also doing herb. Uh, I'm also doing uh, bird nest runs. So my hunter is getting up slowly. And uh, yeah, it's it's quite all right, honestly. So not bad. I'm gonna keep doing this for a long ass time. No way. What? I can't even see how many... Oh no, there we go. Nine and I got it. What? Once again, getting a level on an Iron Man. It's been a while, but we now have 92 farming. Also in the process, I got to 95 agility very recently. I just did it while I was on a podcast, so just clicked around. And then now we're 95 here, so only four more agility levels. I'm very committed to continue doing uh, farming and agility, and then once I'm done with 99 agility, 99 farming, I can then commit to Herblore because I'll have a bunch of herbs, I'll just have to get secondaries, and then that can be my next 99. Alright, so here we go, finally another uh, farming level. This one's been coming up for a while, simply because I'm currently doing pineapples and willows, so really not much XP to gain. Well, I never expected to get a farming level from watermelons, but the reason why I'm doing them is, well, I had them planted beforehand and I'm now planting snape grass as well, so I kind of need to get rid of it. But there is 94 farming, basically from just farming herbs, limpurts, and well, now snape grass as well. I'm obviously just doing my daily contracts and whatnot, and I run a little bit of agility when I'm not doing it, but realistically, I'm not playing this account that much at the moment, so I log in, do my farm run, and log out everything has been out 2.2 million just from that and as you can see a couple of things started to sell uh, this is basically very very recent so we're gonna still wait a day as I said earlier and uh, yeah that is very nice I will probably try to sell these for a little bit after as well but they're not really of that much value. Now, if I quickly hop to the main game, you'll see what I'm up to on this main account. Obviously, a lot of people are still wondering. You guys know I'm kind of working in the background, trying to max my Iron Man and my main account. It definitely takes a lot of time. And on my main at the moment, what I'm doing is runecrafting. And as you guys know, runecrafting takes fucking ages to do. Um, as you can see, it is currently level 87. I also ended up getting a couple of mining levels not so long ago. Hey guys, I just got like night for mining and it took me so long to do. Well, that one was slightly unexpected. We just got ourselves 95 mining. All right, a couple of things have sold and the rest I'm just not going to be bothered selling right now. So we're just going to do one final price check. See just about how much this would be if I were to sell everything. I mean, I will eventually just use these runes anyways. So um, if I quickly just throw everything in 4.2 million very very nice so together if we were to swap this to 07 i'd say about 8.4 million if we if it was a 1 to 2 rate obviously i'm not aware of the rates right now but nonetheless a pretty cool little thing to do i really hope you guys did enjoy this video it was a little bit of a different one a little bit of a messed up one and the reason for that is, well, I'll be moving out very, very shortly. When this video goes out, I'm probably leaving here for another week. And then after that, I just wanted to be basically out of clips so I can, you know, start from scratch when I'm on, uh, you know, my uh, new location. So hopefully you enjoyed regardless, even though it was filled with a bunch of random stuff, I guess. And uh, yeah, have a good one and thank you so much for watching.